friends today i am going to deal with one of the very important topics of mental ability and it is also very important for competitive exams so in this video i will tell you few short tricks which will help you in ratio and proportion questions i will tell you four types of questions and the tricks of solving them so let's start with the type 1 questions So the first type of question is dividing a larger number into two parts whose ratio is given. So in these type of questions we are given a large number and we have to divide it into two or more parts and the ratio is given. So for example I have taken a number 143 and we have to divide it in the ratio 4 ratio 9. So how we will do this? The traditional method to to do this would be that we will assume that numbers to be 4x and 9x and then we will take their sum to be 143 then we will solve for x and afterwards we will substitute the values of x in in these equations and then we will get the answer but this method is very long so it cannot be used in competitive exams where we have to save our time and do more questions in less time so for that i have a short trick so the short trick to do th this type of questions is this the first part first number will be nothing but the first ratio divided by sum of ratios multiplied by original number so what i did that for the first part i took the first ratio that is 4 divided it by sum of ratios that is 4 plus 9 13 and multiplied it by the original number 143 so this will give us 4 upon 13 into 143 and now we can solve this so the first part the first number will be 44 similarly we can solve the second part second part will be second ratio 9 upon sum of ratios 13 multiplied by original number this will give us 99 so in this way by using this trick we can easily divide a large number into two or more smaller numbers so now let's see the application of this trick so i have one such question for you the question says that we have a triangle and the angles of the triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 and we have to find the measures of the angles so for this let's see that how we will apply this trick now we know that sum of the all three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees this means that our larger number our original number will be 180 degree will be 180 now our first angle that is the first part that will be equal to first ratio 2 divided by sum of ratios that is 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is 9 multiplied by 180 similarly second angle will be equal to second part second ratio that is 3 divided by 9 multiplied by 180 and third angle third angle will be equal to 4 upon 9 into 180 now we just have to solve this so the values of angles will be 40 degree 60 degree and 80 In this way we can apply this trick in such questions. Now let's discuss the trick number 2. So in this type of questions we are given that a ratio b is equals to 3 ratio 4 and b ratio c is equals to 8 ratio 9 and we have to find a ratio b ratio c. So let's see that how we will do this. So first let's write that what is given to us. we have to find a ratio b ratio c and we are given the ratio of a and b as 3 ratio 
and ratio of B and C as A ratio 9. Now what we have to do is that we have to make the ratios of B equal. So in the first ratio, B, the ratio of B is 4 and in the second ratio B is 8. We have to make this 4 and 8 equal. How we will do this? By multiplying 4 by 2. So we will multiply this upper ratio by 2. And now we will get that 6 ratio 8 and at the bottom we will get 8 ratio 9. Now as both the ratios of B are same, this means that this is our final answer. So A ratio B ratio C will be 6 ratio 8 ratio 9. So in this way we can solve the questions based on continuous ratios. Now, this similar method can be used to find the continuous ratio of four numbers. So, for example, A ratio B is given 1 ratio 2, B ratio C is given 3 ratio 5 and C ratio D is given 7 ratio 2. And we have to find A ratio B ratio C ratio D. So, for this what we will do, first we will find the ratio of A ratio B ratio C and then whatever answer we will get, we will combine it by C ratio D. So, step 1 will be to find the ratio of the first three numbers A ratio B ratio C. Now, we already know this trick. So, A ratio B is 1 ratio 2, B ratio C is 3 ratio 5. Now, we have to make the ratios of B same. Here B is 2 and here B is 3. So, if we multiply the first ratio by 3 and second ratio by 2, then both the B's will be 6. They will be equal. So, first ratio we will get as 3 ratio 6 and second ratio we will get as 6 ratio 10. So, this will be our answer. A ratio B ratio C is 3 ratio 6 ratio 10. Now, we have to find A ratio B ratio C ratio D. So, what we will do is that this is a ratio, B ratio, C. And we are also given the value of C ratio D. That is 7 ratio 2. Now in both of these things, what is common? That is C. Both of them have C. So, A ratio, B ratio, C ratio, D. What we will do that we will write the value of C under C. And value of D is 2. Now again we will apply same approach. Now we will have to make the values of C as equal. So how we will do that? If we multiply this first ratio by 7 and second ratio by 10, then both of them will be equal and they will be equal to 70. So our answer will be of A ratio, B ratio, C ratio, D, it will be 21 ratio 42 ratio 7. And bottom ratio will be 70 ratio 20. Now, as both of the values of C are same, now we can write the final ratio. So, A ratio, B ratio, C ratio, D is equal to 21 ratio 42 ratio 70 ratio 20. Now, let's discuss the type 3 question. So, for example, we are given that 2A is equal to 3B and we have to find A ratio B. So, for this, what is the first step? So, we have to find the multiplication of all the terms. So, 2 into 3 is 6. Now, we have to divide both the sides by 6. So, 2A by 6 is equal to 3 by, 3B by 6. Because dividing both the sides of equation by the same number would not affect the equation. So from here by simplifying, we will get that A upon 3 is equal to B upon 2. From here we can get that A ratio B is 3 ratio 2. So here we have another question. This time we are given that 5A is equal to 3B is equal to 2C. And we have to find the ratio of A ratio B ratio C. 
So now, what will be this first step? We have to multiply all the coefficients. So that is equal to 30. Now we have to divide all the terms by 30. So on simplification of this we will get that a upon 6 is equals to b upon 10 is equals to c upon 15. Now whatever the ratio is the ratio of denominators that will be our answer. So a ratio b ratio c will be 6 ratio 10 ratio 15. So now let's discuss the type 4 questions. In these questions we are given that four, ratio, 4 numbers are in proportion. So 2 ratio x is in proportion to 3 ratio 4. And we have to find x. So whenever 4 numbers are given in proportion, then the product of middle terms or product of means is equal to product of extremes. So this means that x into 3 will be equal to 2 into 4. So 3x is equal to 2 into 4 that is 8. So from here we will get that x is equal to 8 upon 3. So with this we come to the end of this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.